Joseph? Do you get new shoes every Hood to Coast race? Or uh, no, no, I don't, but uh, I am kind of a, a shopper, so yeah. I bought like five shoes at Nike recently. They look fancy. <laughs> they look fancy. Those are going to be great running shoes. All right, so we have runners out there right now. We kind of have a glamour view coming from Chopper 6 over the starting point there on Mount Hood where runners just took off, and it is chilly up there. Temperatures in the 40s, 43 degrees. We have a lot of sunshine here across the Pacific Northwest. Great morning, just a little chilly. Uh, 57 degrees right now out of Portland. You can see the clear sky, a little hazy. 51 for Skamania and along the coast where they're setting up for the reward to Hood to Coast there where everyone's going to gather in Seaside to wrap up the race on Saturday. Temperatures in the 40s, a little bit of fog there, but nothing much really going on. We have cooler air that's infiltrated here through uh, the Pacific Northwest for our Friday morning. Pendleton, matter of fact, 23 degrees cooler than this time time yesterday. So definitely a cool start there for you folks if you're about to step outside. Temperatures in the 40s for Hood River, 40s for Kelso and 40s there for Astoria as well as along the coast. So we have definitely cooled down a bit. Redmond 39 degrees where uh, Redmond sees some of the cooler temperatures uh, across the state usually. Hood to coast, here's what we have going on. We're going to start off in the mid 40s. Everyone that ran off uh, mostly clear start this morning. Uh, by this afternoon, temperatures warming up to about 81 degrees in Portland. So if they have that leg of the race that comes into Portland, it's going to be really nice out there. Friday, very calm. As we head into our weekend, we'll start to see those temperatures get a little bit warmer. It is very active, though, off to the southeast for parts of Texas as they start to watch and await the anticipation for Hurricane Harvey, which is a Category 2 hurricane. The biggest thing is usually you see this cone right here that shows which direction it's going to go, but it's just one big circle because it's going to stall out and it's going to produce a lot of precipitation and heavy rainfall over the next 24 to 48 hours, maybe even extending further than that. So they have hurricane warnings and tropical storm warnings. If you know anyone in this area, hopefully you're in contact with them and you could uh, uh, talk to them because it's not going to be a great scene. Uh, this is actually the satellite view of the hurricane. You you can see the eye there and it's rotating and it's spinning and it might just stick around for a couple days and they could see rain up to two feet, three feet of rain. So it's definitely going to be a, a dangerous scene there for parts of Texas. For us, we're looking good as we go into the weekend. It just gets a little hot. And if you're starting off next week with school, a lot of people are. Temperature is going to be in the 90s. So it's going to be uh, getting kind of hot here for the Pacific Northwest. 94 degrees by Monday, 90 on Tuesday. So the summer heat stretch continues from about out Saturday to Tuesday, and then we kind of cool down just a little bit as we go into Wednesday. But for now, our Friday is looking real good.